Good afternoon, everybody. First of all, thank you for being out here, even if you're presenting. <laughs> um, my name is Melanie Valencia. I'm a chemistry major with concentration in environmental chemistry and double minor in psychology and biology. And I'm Alex Bidel. I'm an English major in the pre-med program, and I'm a sophomore. And we went to Kenya. Yes, we went to Kenya with Dr. Snow. And um, when I got back here, everybody was asking me, so how was it? And I discovered that I couldn't answer how it was. I had no words. I didn't, whatever, whenever somebody just reached me and said, how was it, how was it? And I said, oh, well, I can't really tell you. I can't describe it yet. Um, and then after thinking and after being with the group, I've discovered something that I want to portray. And that starts with me being a little child and deciding, hey, I want to be a doctor and I want to help children and I want to someday go to Africa and be training other doctors that need more training than they actually have access to. Um, when I came here to the, well I'm from Ecuador, I should have stated that <laughs> first. I'm from Ecuador and I came here and um, I discovered well we have to go through college and all these things and I was disappointed that uh, we couldn't do anything. I felt like I felt like well now I have to study so much, and I understand that I have to study so much in order to get into medical school and in order to be a good physician. But I thought, and I always had in my heart, well I'm sure we can do something at least a little bit. And then I crossed through the class and knew about the class. So we were there, and I remember the second night that we were there, and I was thinking about the centers that we had visited the day before. The two centers were <coughs> Kataka and Kwari, which are four miles away, around four miles Kataka away. Kataka is four miles away from the um, family we stayed with, and Kwari yes. is like a 10 minute walk. Yes. So I was thinking about those children, and I was thinking about Kataka not, sometimes not being able to, access, to have access to water, and that was the only reason why these almost 200 children that come to eat cannot have access to the food, because sometimes there is no water available. So I couldn't sleep that night thinking about the water. And um, hey, we had the resources to get them water. Hey, there was the need. So let's <laughs> put those together. And um, so we decided to get piping. I remember that bad morning where I couldn't sleep. I went to measure with um, some members of the family that we were staying with um, the, uh, how many tubes we would need. And I was talking with the plumber. I was talking with several people that we would need to get the pipes. Talking with everybody, we decided, yes, the pipes are happening. And after we, come, we came back, actually, a few weeks ago, we found out that the pipes, the pipes were there. And, now, and there were tears in that when the second they had water out of the one faucet. And um, I always keep on remembering that, hey, how do I connect this to people complaining in the dining hall that they cannot have? big plate of any sort of meal that I don't really understand what they want. So now I am, that's, that's what I say to people who ask me about Kenya. It's the opportunity to actually do something, to use your resources, to use your intelligence, to use, um, to understand the actual need of poverty. Talking with doctors now, I remember, telling him, so why did you decide to bring students here? And he would tell me, well, I would be in class, talking about poverty and telling them how, telling my students how many children are dying every day because they don't have access to food. But I really never thought that that idea actually crossed their mind and they actually absorb it. So seeing that is absolutely different. And um, coming back here, it was so motivating to start doing more things. We have done, we, I don't know if anybody came, we went to, we did a carnival for Kenya, we, we raised money. We made another salsa night to raise more money, and we're actually helping these wo these women in um, an AIDS refugee who are having bags. They're sewing bags and they're selling them, and that's how they get their food. And we're buying some of the bags and bringing them next semester. So please come out and buy them. <laughs> and um, it's just too much. Of, I I still cannot describe everything that I feel about Kenya, but that's as far as I can.